let's get into what I really want to talk about. Because <laughs> I was not expecting this today, but this is obviously great content. This is what I really want to talk about. I want to talk about these freaking losers, bro. I want to talk about these losers. This is the gaming community, y'all. This is the gaming community. This is what they think about you. This is what they think about you. So just think, man, if y'all if y'all men are single out here, y'all men are single out here just watching this stream right now. You know, if you are not one of these losers here who put themselves on video talking about Stellar Blade and Sony is censoring. <laughs> I can't even say they with a straight Sony and censoring Stellar Blade because there are a couple of outfits that were altered in the game. That is the gist of this conversation. I will say this again, just in case if you were not in the know. This petition was started because someone and uh, and once again we get back to this person. I, I I hate talking about this person. This this person has become like the incel lord, bro. This dude Grums, Mark Kern, has turned into the incel lord, bro. This dude is like I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand what his agenda is. This is it's pretty nasty, bro. It's pretty nasty. So this guy started a campaign, started a petition. And he said that we're going to read this. It's Stellar Blade is a phenomenal new game that just launched on the PS5 worldwide, but it has a problem. <laughs> it has a problem. The content has been censored from the original trailer version posted by Sony. We as gamers, first of all, you don't speak for me. You do not speak for me. And none of these losers, none of these incels here that have never seen a woman. IGN France is right. I have to retract my statement. I think IGN France is right. These losers right here definitely do not know what a real woman looks like i think i have to agree with it in france i don't think they know what a real woman looks like because oh my goodness this is this is embarrassing this is embarrassing i am catching second hand embarrassment anyway let's continue we as gamers want this content back i do not care about a couple of outfits being altered there is literally a skin suit in the game a skin suit why do we care that a couple of outfits have been altered in the game? Why are we saying that this is censorship? These are the same people who say keep politics and diversity, DEI, out of my video games. The same community that says that automatically run politics into the situation because they claim that they are being censored. They claim that they're being censored and they have signed a petition. What is a petition? <laughs> it, even though it's not going to the government and it's going to Sony, this is politics. You are campaigning for alleged censorship. You are campaigning for alleged censorship, bro. You cannot be serious here. You cannot be serious. Is this really the world that we live in? I'm like, bro cannot be serious i'm like, what the hell bro this game like people are clearly not playing a game and i said it before people aren't even playing games anymore people are just getting angry about anything that they can just latch on to we we talk about you know thinking for yourself a lot but these guys here are clearly not thinking for themselves they are not thinking for themselves they heard or saw one thing and then just hopped on it oh my god sony is censoring me I want to see Eve in all her glory in the bunny suit. Like what? <laughs> are you are you trying to fap to Eve or are you playing the game? I do not understand why this is a thing and what you hope to gain from this. What do you hope to gain from this? Yeah, and these people say that people are crying to get those games. This is this is 100% crying. This is 100 crying you're crying to get the original outfit <laughs> you're crying to get the original outfit so let's continue with what what the this, the incel lord has said uh he said we want this content back we relied on it what do you mean we relied on it? i didn't even know about the majority of the outfits in the game nor did i care i just i just was you know uh harping on the skin suit outfit i thought that's what everybody cared about the skin suit because she's not wearing any clothes Skin suit but apparently y'all want to play barbie doll dress up with eve in the game 
to uh, to increase your horny you niggas are horny because you don't see women you don't get sex let's just keep it a buck and and, and it, again i hate to you know be mean like that but i think some of these losers need to get bullied bro they need to get bullied because this is this this is embarrassing it's embarrassing you should be ashamed be ashamed of yourself man like go find a girl bro to stick your stick your pee pee in because this is ridiculous this is not how you should be living your life bro go watch some porn go handle it yourself you're worried about a video game character what are we talking about nerds never yeah bro like these are literally how people still see us then this is why you know women have their opinions like i don't like i don't like men who play video game because they see us like this 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 is the this is the gaming community this is who they see at these conventions you see you see guys like this and, and they may be in porn conventions too they look like they look like they do both they be at anime conventions gaming conventions and porn conventions they go to all the conventions they don't see women they don't see women you can't get them and so you resort to this and so you resort to this i again i hate to, to just harp on this bro because i want men to do better you know i want i want men to get their rocks off to find somebody <laughs> To find somebody who will, who will let them do the do so we can stop behaving like this like most of these dudes have on red you know white shirts dirty ass white shirts most of them have on glasses bad acne like bad cameras like look at this bro look at look at this this dude trying to hide his face like <laughs> like there were some trolls on here and, and and i think that they do need to get trolled man yeah bully them troll troll on this petition because it's ridiculous bro Roll on this petition. So Mark Kern continues. Stella Blade is more than a game. It has become a cultural beacon for the freedom of expression in a time where game publishers like Sony are censoring games more than ever. A cultural beacon for the freedom of expression? This nigga just using buzzwords. It, 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 uh, is, it, is this the next coming of Christ? Is Stella Blade the next coming of Christ? Shut up. <laughs> like... Like, like, oh my god, oh, it's so stupid, bro. It's so stupid. Stella Blade was a breath of fresh air, and the game route and gamers rallied behind it because it meant things were changing. Oh, the changing of the guard. Oh my god, please tell me how you have been censored. Please tell me how you have been oppressed in video games, Mark Kern. Oh, great, Mark Kern. Please tell me how you have been oppressed. This is the same guy who wanted to get in black girl gamers. The same guy who wanted to get in black girl gamers and was like, oh, you're you're uh you're denying me because I'm not black and I'm not a girl. The same guy. Oh my god. Uh he said getting better and the voice of creative freedom was ringing loud and clear. But for reasons unknown, the game was censored, changes were made. What we received after our good faith purchase was not the same as advertised. We believe in the game, we believe this shift up, and we are asking to get the game we believe revert the censorship changes past the game and you will find that even more gamers will join you and support you all gamers can help by signing this petition it will be printed in korea and delivered in korea to shift up offices oh so they're going to do that too interesting it physically printed and delivered to sony playstation north america offices read this petition on social media with the free stellar blade hashtag I'm just like, bro, like what world, what world are we living in today that, that this is, this is what we are dealing with. This is what we are dealing with. Here. Let's watch a couple of these videos. Let's watch a couple of these videos, shall we? Because uh, they were very, very entertaining. This guy, and, and I was like, man, I hate to laugh, but like some of these, some of these guys clearly have disabilities, like whether it's a speech disability, you know, neurodivergence, it's something. And I'm just like, it's sad. It, it is sad to see, but at the same time, I'm just like, bro, I just gotta laugh. I'm like, bro, why would you do this? Please, just just stay where you are. You did you did not have to do this. You didn't have to add your video. You could have just signed the petition and, and, and go, but you decided to add your video, so now we can see you, bro. This is the representation of gamer. Hi, I'm Jeffrey, and I think this petition needs to come through to have a tree all of the creators who worked on this to have their vision fully restored 
and that's why this is it and this is why it's important to everyone their vision <laughs> what was shift up's vision bro <laughs> what was shift up's vision please tell me please tell me chat what was what was their vision to, ha to have even a bunny suit that <laughs> which is still there by the way it, it's still there like I like, oh, oh my goodness. Hi, my name is Jonathan. I would wish the video games to go back to the used to back then when I was a kid. No censorship. I hate censorship in general. They're trying to ruin everything. Thank you. Support this. <laughs> no censorship. I hate censorship. <laughs> oh, man. Little do they know, man. America is the land of the free. America is the land of the free. Go to China. Go to China. Go to, go to North Korea. They'll really show you. Even though, you know, shift up with the South Korean uh, studio. Uh, but this will not fly in North Korea. This will not fly in China. Yeah, like really go to one of those countries. Then you'll see real censorship, and then you'll be glad, you'll be thankful that America lets you let you get away with a lot of stuff. Because there's a lot of stuff that is not censored. There's a lot of stuff that is actually allowed over here. So we want to talk about censorship. You don't know what real censorship is. You truly do not know what real censorship is. Censorship sucks in all of its forms. So developers, don't let Sony push you around. Demand that the game you developed and would like released gets released with none of the changes that Sony wants in there for whatever arbitrary reasons they would like them. So again, Abby getting railed in Last of Us 2, good. Asian character in a game with too much cleavage, ooh, can't have that. I was like, man. <laughs> yeah, people did compare The Last of Us 2. They did compare The Last of Us 2 with Abby and uh and Baldur's Gate 3, where you can pretty much have sex with anything. You can have sex with with bears, animals, you know, all that type of stuff. They were like, oh man, you know, that's fine, but you know, having a bunny costume is 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 not which again it, I don't and I don't even think Sony has came out and said like if they did censor it and and why they censored it. And I do understand that point. But to make a whole campaign and be like, oh, well, this is okay, but this isn't, like, that's that's still stupid because I could understand if they were like, oh, man, like, the skin suit that was once supposed to be in a game is no longer in Like, literally, her wearing no clothes at all. I'm like, all right, I can sort of understand more. I still don't think it should be a campaign or a politician because, I mean, uh, or politicking because I'm like, bro, like, are you playing the game or not? Because the game is not about how, how Eve is dressed. It's not about how Eve is dressed, bro. It's a, are you paying attention to the story? Are you playing the game? Are you seeing the gameplay? Like, or like, is, is that is that more appealing to you, or do you just care about how Eve looks when she's running around and and trying to like angle her and uh, just so you can you know get your horny up? Like that that's the main thing. I'm like, you keep talking about censorship in this game, but it's only a couple of outfits, if that. It's only a couple of outfits, if that, bro. <laughs> like, like, this is ridiculous, bro. Like, whatever, just don't play the game. But the funny thing, the even funnier thing is Stellar Blade. And we're going to see if it changed. But last time I looked, Stellar Blade had a 92 on Metacritic. So I'm like, are y'all playing it in private and complaining in public? But, you know, because even though Metacritic is, is not the overall, you know, sentiment on any video game, it's still a metric. <laughs> it's still a metric. So I'm like, OK, uh, it. OK, it went it went down. It was a 92 at first. It was a 92. It's an 82 now. It's an 82, which is still which is still great. But it was a 92 at first, so maybe maybe the incels did get to it after all. But it was high. <laughs> it was actually pretty high. Look at this person gave it a zero. Tell me for like a fast paced souls game. Then leaves on parry. Instead of specific bro, you don't make a you don't really make a build here. It's not a not a souls born game in that RPG aspect. Anywho. So I mean it's they gave it a 10, gave it a 10, King Gamer gave it a 90, 80, so. Look at some of the reviews. Dang, Eurogamer gave it a hundred. Impulse game, a hundred, hundred, hundred. Dang, 
dot esports gave it a 90 so these are very high a very high scores here on metacritic so yeah so it, you know it evened out but it was it wasn't 92 and i can see why it was a 92 i mean you have people giving it a literal 100. Like, what is the lowest you know the lower score like to be determined and that's a that's actually interesting they have to be determined for some lowest score they have is a 60. the 60. so i said the game got good score so i'm like i know y'all playing the game i i think that they're just complaining in public but playing a game in private because again they can't contain their horny they cannot contain their horny it's really it's ridiculous bro <laughs> it's ridiculous they can't contain their horny so this is where we're at now i don't know if this petition is going to do anything i really don't think it's going to do anything at all but this is the current campaign and i'm like bro y'all are y'all are bringing politics in the video game so you're complaining about two outfits that may or may not have been altered fine but that does not take away my overall experience in the game and it definitely should not take away anybody's overall experience in the game they're they're mainly arguing on principle at this point which i can only like very very little understand very very little it's what they're complaining about is the problem literally what they're complaining about and acting like they're being censored acting like they're being oppressed because sony you know big bad sony uh came through and started censoring some outfits i, I think that again if sony truly care about this game having an m rating and you know guys potentially seeing some fan service then they would have just gotten rid of the skin suit like i said going back to that i think they just would have gotten rid of the skin suit or some other outfit there are some other outfits that are kind of revealing as well but i'm like but no problem with the skin suit which again takes away some defense from you but we're having issues because a couple of outfits got altered from the trailer okay all right yeah that makes a lot of sense no you guys are losing you guys are losing please go find something healthy to do go find something healthy to do go find a woman please just try your best to you know find you a mate do your do and then you'll come back to reality come back to reality this is not a representation it's not a good representation of all gamers i definitely definitely do not rock with this crowd i'm sorry i rock with this crowd terrible representation of what a game terrible absolutely ridiculous so this is where we're at right now so uh yeah in case you didn't know and now you know uh final thing here that i want to harp on this is uh real quick but david busters man gambling is has been getting really really popular especially since more and more states have been uh have been allowing apps like DraftKings and prize picks things like that that makes it super easy in order for you to bet on pretty much everything so you can even bet on esports bet on esports uh so you can bet on any sport imaginable there are multiple different ways to place bets so you don't just have to go to vegas or atlantic city you know go to an actual casino to bet you can bet from the comfort of your own home you can bet on your phone mobile devices you know do whatever so david bus got the bright idea they said we're going to allow customers to bet on arcade games we're going to allow them to bet on arcade games what arcade games must you ask have you been to a david busters lately you know the main places that people go to for competition and it's in the picture here they go to go to hot shots they, they go to basketball they do maybe some air hockey you know i like playing personally i like playing connect four basketball and then four basketball is, is really dope fun me and my wife like to play that a lot i win majority of the time because i know what i aim uh but in any case so david buster said that they're going to begin offering loyalty members the ability to bet on its game you have to be 18 or older of course because can't it can't be liable if uh if a child under 18 that doesn't know any better start getting addicted to gambling but they'll be able to place real money wagers on arcade games with friends there are some new tech they are going to be using and expected to be available in the coming months this is going to be a freaking mess uh if people start catching up to this so just imagine you, know, you just see that see that person who like, like oh man like I, I bet i can beat this person in some basketball and then you bet them and then you know y'all get crazy you're like hey man i want my money back double or nothing double or nothing and then the kids are back behind you crying because we got two grown men here getting serious about a basketball game and one dude wants his money back because he keeps losing and then the fight breaks out 
and then you and then David Bus get shut down or or security gotta come and, and they gotta uh they gotta wheel them out. They ain't got into a fight over a basketball game or or air hockey or some other video game. This is gonna be a mess, man. Imagine imagine betting on Mario Kart. You know, you know, Mario Kart already in friendships, but <laughs> just imagine betting on Mario Kart and then you know some series ends up happening. It's gonna be a freaking mess, man. So I don't I don't know what they're doing. I get it. You know, betting is all around the world now. It's and I, I just I just don't see this being a good thing. I mean, if you're gonna bet, I feel like you should bet without giving David Buster your money. You're already giving David Buster your money uh to play the games, but when you want to give him extra money, then I'm sure that there has to be a fee here. They're not they're not offering this for free. And I'm sure there has to be a fee that David Busters will take in order for you to place a real money bet on this. Why don't you just do an underhand, you know, friendly dollar bet or cash app or zell or venmo you know why don't you just do that if you're filling the competition with your friends or a random you know you want to bet on something so i don't understand this honestly um you know i see what david Buster is trying to do they're trying to go but i don't see this as being a good thing they say if you want to bet somebody just just do your own bet don't give David Bus extra money just so you can make a real world, you know, a real money bet. So anyway, that's all that I was like, nah, this <laughs> this is not gonna end well. <laughs> this is not going to end well at all. So anyway, that's it. That's it. That's all I got. I've been yapping for like almost an hour and a half. Oh yeah, the other thing I want to talk about NBA playoff scores. I'm saying let's see what's going on. Oh, Cavs won. Okay, Cavs won one point. Oof. All right, Cavs are up three two. Cavs are up three two. Uh, the Knicks lost tonight, but they are up. They still love three, two. The Pacers and the Bucks are playing right now. Bucks are up 74, 59. If you know, the Nuggets got eliminated last night and, uh, Celtics beat the, beat the Heat. Dramatic fashion. Derek White had the best game of his life and the Thunder knocked out the Pelicans. I have not checked on a uh, BBL girl. I've not checked on BBL girl. I don't know if she made any more videos. Ain't no Zion, man. She the biggest hater. We're talking about Kendrick Lamar being the biggest hater. Now nah, Mariah, he the biggest hater, bro. She hate that man. <laughs> she, she hate she hate that man. It's crazy. He hates that man. Mavericks and Clippers were tied there. Game five is tomorrow. Game five is tomorrow. We will see what happens with that. But two games are over. Two games are over. Nuggets, Nuggets advance. Uh, y'all want Darvin Ham up out of here? I know, I know. Y'all blaming the coach? I know y'all are blaming the coach. AD was healthy though. AD was healthy. LeBron was mostly healthy this entire season. So, uh, with those two healthy, who else needed to step up? Uh, you needed somebody else to step up. Austin Reeves was hot and cold. D Low was hot and cold. And I don't think that y'all really had like a true, a true three there who could come in the clutch when like. LeBron and AD were off the floor. So I think that was the main issue. I got out coach, definitely. But the Nuggets, y'all just had bad luck, man. Y'all, y'all had bad luck. Anybody that was going to run into the Nuggets first round, it was going to be, it was going to be tough for them. It's going to be tough for them. So I cannot blame Darvin Ham solely for you all losing 4 1. At least y'all didn't get swept, though. At least y'all didn't get swept. So yeah, at least we'll say that. At least we didn't get swept there, but you know, Lakers fans, come come join the rest of the people. <laughs> join the rest of the crowd. Let's go to Cancun. Uh, cause we're gonna be there with y'all soon. We're gonna be there with y'all soon. I don't think we're gonna get another game. So, so we'll see. But uh, they okay, see me. I'm so I'm surprised, man. I'm actually surprised that the Pelicans did not put up a better fight. But again, Zion was out, so Zion was out. The Thunder, man, they were they were a good young team. They are a good young team. Oh, and then the Timberwolves. I almost forgot about them. Timberwolves and Sun, man. We got three wet, three games in the West. Damn, three, three game, uh, three series ones in the West are all done, and two of them were sweeps. Two of them were sweeps. Timberwolves just ran through the Suns, same because again the Suns on paper have like you know, three great scores, but y'all said that Bradley Beal is a fraud. Y'all put him on fraud alert. <laughs> Y'all put that man on fraud alert, and uh, and they got swept, man. Y'all, they got swept. Anthony Anthony Edwards, he that dude, bro. A.E., he that dude. He got him a signature shoe for a reason. 
got him a signature shoe for the reason. So they up out of here. So Timberwolves advance, Nuggets advance, Thunder advance. That's where we're at right now. We are waiting on these other games. So we got Clippers, Mavs in the West. And then the East, every game is still going. Every game is still going at this particular time. We're going to see if the if the Bucks can can continue it, though. We're going to see if the Bucks can continue it. Uh, 76-63 right now. But the Pacers do have a chance to end it tonight. Pacers do have a chance to end it tonight. So we shall see. 